Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today in this video, I want to go ahead and talk and explain a little bit about private leagues in Path of Exile. Now this video isn't to try to convince you guys to play my private league. It's just to inform you that I will be playing a private league and I want to kind of tell you guys some of the pros and cons. Well, I'm not really going to talk about the cons. Those should be really obvious. I'm also going to talk about the pros. So first off, for those of you guys who don't know, private leagues are literally part of Path of Exile. You can go to the events private league. You can create your own private league. So I've got one set up for Legion. Uh, you can make it um, standard so you can put trading on. You can turn trading off. You can So that's like solo cell found. You can add a list of difficulties that you can do uh, onto it. I don't really like adding the difficulties uh, at the start of a league because I want the league to mimic what a new league is. So I don't want to put like turbo or increased monster life etc um, so to explain the purpose of my private league and what we're doing uh, really fast is it's going to be a 3.7 that's where we're playing right now private league so I'm gonna talk about the rules real quick uh, trading is restricted to only unique item for unique item this means no form of currency trading nor for no form of rare trading like with gear um, so essentially the point of this is you need a one alchemy unique item that you can't farm or say you just get really unlucky there's probably going to be someone in the private league that has it that'll be more than happy to trade for some other dumpy unique that they could just vendor and it's basically the exact same thing um, so for people who are experienced in solo cell found this doesn't necessarily help you very much but if you want to be realistic it's like 0.5 percent of players who understand and are very efficient with solo cell found so i want this to be more of like a community thing slash at the same time like I can play it and have fun I can choose to play it by myself I will be playing with my friends uh, but it also has that essence of like you have to craft your own gear you have to do your own progression it's just a little bit easier than normal because of the unique trading <clears throat> so this is a pseudo SSF league you may solo or choose to play with others if you're playing with someone else you may share loot that drops in the instance similar to Diablo 3 so this means say you're trying to farm a tabula rasa and you're playing with three friends all three of you can farm the same blood aqueduct and you can share the humility cards. You cannot split among multiple blood aqueducts and farm and trade to each other. Now I know a lot of people are going to tell you, but Mr. Box Kappa, how are you going to tell who's cheating and who's not? So this is a really simple thing and I don't even know why people bring it up. Nobody is going to ruin their fun and their initial league rush by joining a private league on a server that they're not going to get anywhere in and plus it takes a minimum of two people to break the rules because if one person is trying to break the rules he has to actually trade with someone else no one is, is normally going to do that because they know the rules so then two trolls have to band together but then they don't get anywhere because no it, it's a private league so that's what that's kind of like a little security measure on top of it right um so mapping rules uh, you may join another maps group so say you hit 67 and your buddies are 74 75 and 79 and you want to join their mapping group um, you are allowed to map with them. However, if you're going to contribute currency, meaning like, hey man, you know, you've, you've been in four maps with us, I'd like for you to start helping us roll maps, uh, they will trade you the map and then you will roll it. Now some people say this is tedious, it's not really that tedious. When you get into mapping properly, you're going to get, you know, five, ten map drops, you just trade it over to people in your party, they spend ten seconds, trade it back to you, or they can just drop it on the floor and then they give it back to you. The reason why I have it set like this is to prevent people from giving everyone one type of currency and then that person gets too much of the currency and then they forget what's their currency what was given to them and what was supposed to be for crafting because you will use alterations to craft a lot of gear you will use alterations on maps same with alchemy orbs chaos orbs etc uh, past league items and prophecy are all allowed to be traded uh, the reason why i've enabled this is these are things that need to be farmed for specifically and are difficult to acquire so past league items like you know breach which is like zoff um I mean, really just anything pastly that you could think of. And the reason why I've added prophecy on here as well is because, you know, a new player will just spam their prophecy thing and they could get Combs way, but they have literally no use for it. Originally, I had it so it was only prophecy for prophecy and league for league, but I'm just going to open it just uniques for uniques. You know, you can trade any way you'd like. You know, naturally, me as a person, I'm not going to trade like a tier zero unique for a Combs heart, vice versa, the other way around. I'm a person of fairness. Um, so I'm going to trade what's fair and most people won't, you know, because there's not going to be that many shabs and comes hard on the league. Uh, lab enchants may be traded with other lab enchants. I know some people, despite me even thinking it's possible, love only farming labyrinth. 
Well, if you have at least two lab farmers, then you guys can trade the bases with each other. You cannot trade crafted items, but you can trade the base. So if you have an elder base helmet and it's got tornado shot enchant, you can trade it for a glove base with whatever. Um, so that's kind of something nice. And then you may trade delves, uh, del sorry, delve fossils and essences uh, with each other. So, you know, say you're farming and you have 17 aberrants, but you want scorching. You can do a one-to-one -one trade on those. Uh, we want, remember, this is supposed to be like quality of life, right? It's not supposed to make the game it's supposed to eliminate the things that I kind of dislike with the game. Oh, there's a little bug on my desk. So the point of this league is for me to enjoy and play in a more controlled environment. I don't really enjoy the current trade league since prices become inflated, and this allows you for a different take on trading while still limiting so you have to work for your gear. Um, PoE is on like an all-time power creep, and this league actually is the first one in a long time that adds in defensive power creep with the exception of just always playing CI every league even though CI got nerfed. Um, so that's kind of why I'm really excited for this. And when I play Trade League, it's just not as fun for me. I know a lot of you guys like it. I know it grows the YouTube channel. I know it grows the live stream, but it like kills me as a person. And that's why I haven't really been playing it because when you just sit in your hideout and you're just buying stuff, it's just not fun and I almost feel like I fall in the mentality of like oh I don't want to run this map because I could do a quick trade and go up 400 effective life so I'll just wait and that's a really bad mentality to have and maybe that's just a personal thing for me of always trying to min max but when I'm playing in this solo self found slash pseudo solo self found style you're not waiting on that upgrade I mean like you are but like you're actively always searching for it it doesn't ever end you know and that's what I really really like about it um, so that's kind of the reason why I'm playing it now, to apply to the private league, it's really simple. In my live stream, I'm sure you guys are aware of, all you're gonna do is type exclamation mark apply, or you can type private league, it's all the same thing. Um, you're gonna get a link to the rules that I just showed you, which is right here. You don't have to read them if you've watched the video naturally. You're also going to get a tiny URL, uh, which will link you directly to here, where you can just click the apply button. When you apply, it will show the member list for me right here. So you'll just be like, hey man, I applied. And then I simply just go down the list like this. And I update. And that's it, and it's done. And then uh, I will just slowly be adding more members to the league. Um, I don't wanna do a crazy amount right now. So at the moment I have remaining days. So there's 20 days set on the private league and we're having 40 players. We're probably gonna increase it, especially like once I do the live stream, getting ready for the actual start of the league, it'll probably bump up to probably, let's say like 80 members maybe. Uh, a lot of people do like to play the core league, which makes a lot of sense, which is why I like this too. It gives us a nice little condensed group that we play with. Uh, if I enjoy the private league, I will keep extending it past the 20 days. You know, I don't want to put three months on the league right now because I don't know how long everyone's going to play for. Um, you know, this can always be extended. You can literally just see me right here. I click extend. And if you decide you get bored of the private league, you can always take your character and migrate to the core league, which is also a really cool aspect of private leagues. You're not locked in there. Just like in Solo Cell Found, you can migrate to uh, a standard like, you know, the other one. You can migrate here off to the regular one. So you can play it decide you don't like it, migrate, let me know, and then I just click remove, and then I remove you, and then that's it. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much private leagues and why I like to play them. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them down below in the comments. Um, I may do like in the future, like some like, you know, one week private leagues where you just do like ridiculous mods. And I know Ziz did stuff like that in Project PT and I don't know if RiseQT set up stuff like that. I just didn't want to do that stuff in the past because I was like kind of burnt out of PoE. But in this league specifically because of the mechanical reworks, I think it's going to be a lot more fun because you have those instant skills like dash and the guard skills like steel skin that'll help really get you out of those sh shitty situations. Rather than blaming RNG, you could blame your reaction time now because instead of just getting fucked in a, in a spot where you can't move or you get stunned, you could have totally avoided it at low level because at low level, uh, things are a lot slower, which is really nice, you know? But yeah, that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Hope you guys liked the uh, build guide videos I put out on the YouTube channel. I meant to get them out a day before, but I was so fucking sick, so I, I just couldn't, my head, I couldn't even put on a headset to like listen to my Diablo 2 OST, so. Catch you guys later. See you guys in the private league. Take care, everyone.